Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Reaper. And I just got out of the shower, actually, now that I look down. And, you know, in the shower I was thinking about things that um, people usually think about in the shower. And that would be Call of Duty and what I could do for a commentary, or commentary, whatever your ethnic originality is, however you say it. But, um, yeah, so I was, I was thinking, like, um, man, I'm fucking rambling really bad. Basically, the gist of it is I kind of wanted to explain how I play, uh, what the hell is this called? Conf Kill Confirmed? Uh, <laughs> as it pops up on the screen. Yeah, um, Kill Confirmed. And in case you don't know or haven't played it, um, first of all, I would recommend that you play it because it's a fun, it's just a sweet game. It's a new game mode that they added, and basically what happens is, um, it's like team deathmatch. Need to fix my mic so I don't like blow into it because I don't like to blow. Um, anyways, it's team deathmatch, and after you kill the guy, uh, it's pretty straight. Then the name is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you see the dog tags pop up, and you go and capture them for points. And uh, in the bottom left, that's how many, uh, basically how many flags are captured. And at the same time, like, if one of your teammates die or you die, you can go repick those dog tags up to kind of, like, save points, you know, so that the enemy can't get them. So, I don't know, it's pretty fun. Like, and the thing about it is you can get, like, a ton of XP. I was talking to my uh, my good buddy when I was playing this with him. Um, I'm not even going to reference him, but sorry, dude. But, anyways, we were talking, and he's like, yeah, you should try this game mode because first of all it's fun and then second of all you get a ton of xp so for example say say i kill a guy you, i get like 100 xp or whatever um for killing him with any bonuses that i get like headshot you know buzz kill uh, any of that stuff and then if my teammate picks up the dog tag both him and i get points for uh, collecting that so i mean over the course of a game you know whether you if you pick up dog tags or just get a lot of kills and people cap them uh you you can rack up some serious xp and especially like with uh mountain dew stuff and uh also the prestige tokens i don't know if you know about that but uh you can get double xp basically what you do is go to the prestige shop and uh i don't know how exactly you get them i wonder if you prestige and you get one but anyways you can like buy like 2 hours worth of double xp so i mean if you went in here and played this uh, you'd get a lot of XP. You know, the only other uh, game mode really that is, uh, you get a ton of XP that, uh, well, I mean, there's a couple, but Search and Destroy is what I'm thinking of. But this is a way faster pace, and uh, it's new, it's fresh, and uh, I, I think it's good, so I'd give this a try. But uh, what I try and do is, or what you should do, I don't know if I do this, but thinking about it, what you want to do is, if you get a kill, uh, you kind of want to stick with your team, but if you get a kill like this, uh, you know, you let your team get it and stuff, but I'm trying to get an example, because I, I do it. Okay, so I killed that guy, and I got to call in my predator missile, because I've got a kill streak. But basically, you use the dog tags as bait, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, and I will point out an example of that, but... Apparently they're spawning over here, so I'm just kind of racking them. Oh, and uh, talking about my setup, uh, I'm running Scar L uh, again. I will have another gameplay with that, uh, but I, I will be switching it up because uh, I've got a couple ideas for videos. Uh, I'm going to do a create a class video. Uh, I usually like to do that, especially at the beginning of the game and then like later in its life cycle. But uh, I, I want to wait until I get about uh, halfway through so that I can... So that I can give uh, tips that will apply to uh, advanced, or I, I, don't, I don't know about advanced, but uh, l higher levels as well as lower levels. Because, I mean, let's face it, if you're a level 10, you're not going to have half the stuff that a level 50 has. So, kind of want to make my creative class fair and balanced, just like Fox News. <coughs> and uh, I'm going to call, well, first I'm going to use this advanced UAV, but... I'm basically just sitting on this spot and trying to bait them in with their uh, teammates' dog tags. And that's kind of the whole strategy for this. 
um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really give any tips, but basically, you just kind of want to kill them and let your team pick them up and look at. Okay, I, yeah, I don't know. Enough of that. I got a double kill, triple pick up my AC with 30. All those dog tags, but like they're spawning over there. Um, so obviously, it's not worth it. Four. I got four, five. I think five kills. And I picked up another predator missile. That's a nice addition to this game. Uh, what you can do is, if you fill out your kill streaks and you keep killing with your gun, you can actually like re-pick up kill streaks. So, in theory, you could um, end up with like two AC-130s or something if you get uh, like a long enough streak, you know. So I think that's pretty cool. That that's really nice because you know it. Um, I think it just keeps the pace of the game going more. Um, makes you want to s it gives you more of an incentive to keep playing instead of just instantly drop down and call on your stuff so I think that's good but I've got my AC 130 and I switched up my kill streaks actually for the next gameplay that I'll be putting out because um, I kind of learned a valuable lesson with black ops in that some of the lesser popular kill streaks are actually some of the best ones and uh, an example of that is the mortar the mortars uh, I got an eight man mortar kill on my channel if you want to check that out check it out but that just shows that's not a popular kill streak like you rarely see mortars and uh, same with b52 but especially when you play games like domination and stuff you can really uh, rack up the multi kills with those kill streaks because well, mortars. I like the mortars because you could call them in in different spots. But you know, basically, I just want to experiment with the different kill streaks, like the like this Reaper. People, I talk to people at school about it, and apparently they don't like it. I think it's fucking sick. You're basically remote remote controlling, you know, third person more or less a predator missile. That's all it is, and you can shoot like. I don't know, like 10 of them off or something. So it's pretty sweet. Um, if there was like Danger Close Pro, um, the kill streak damage more, this would be a much more effective kill streak. But as it is, it's a really good one. Just because, I mean, it's sick. I'd give it a try. It's pretty cool. But basically, what you do is you just aim the. put the box on the guy and you can see it fly. It's pretty simple. Um. Yeah, sorry for that slow part in the game, but I had to call in all my kill streaks. So, we're about to win, so, uh, yeah, that was my second Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, I should shortly have a gold gun. Uh, not gonna give you, give it away, but it might be the gun that I used in this commentary. I, I don't know it might be just saying so anyways uh look for more please subscribe if you haven't comment and uh rate yeah